Hey everybody, welcome to Cake Test of Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you how to make a little piggy family out of gum paste. Okay, we're going to start by making the big mother pig's head in the center of the picture there. Okay, I took a piece of pink gum paste, rolled it pretty thick, you know, don't make it too thin. And then I laid it over top of a lemon that I happened to have in the refrigerator. Um, I couldn't have the pig too big because it had to fit on an 8 inch cake, so size was an issue. And I found the lemon, it seemed like a good size, so I put a piece of paper towel over it and laid it over there, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm making the ears now. I took that piece that you saw, rolled it out kind of flat and long, and cut it in half down the middle curl up the ears a little bit, press down on it, you know, in order just to give it a bit more of a surface to attach. Use some water, press it against the head, and it flops over as you see, but if you use a little piece of paper towel, a little roll up of paper towel on each side inside the ear, it will hold the curve very nicely, and then you get the cute little piggy look without all the, you know, annoying gum paste hassle. <laughs> so I put a little piece of paper towel on each side, let it go. Okay, now we're going to let them set. These are going to be the little pig babies. I made six little babies, just round pink balls. I put four little pieces of gum paste, nice round little balls there, and I'm using my knife to cut one little slice down the middle and kind of open it, wiggle, wiggle a little bit. And I'm making the hooves out of that. So I don't know if pigs have split hooves or not. I kind of don't care. It looks cute, so that's what I'm doing. All right, this is going to look be a little piggy on its back. So that's why I have the four little feet sticking up in the air like that. Now I take another ball of pink gum paste, a little bit smaller than the body, and attach it to the one end for the head. A little ball flattened out for the snoot, for his little piggy nose. I'm using the back of my paintbrush to make holes for the nose, the mouth, and the eyes because he's got his mouth open because I guess he's surprised that he ended up on his back. He didn't expect that because we often don't. Okay, so I did the same thing for the ears that I did for the mom pig. I rolled out a piece into kind of an oval shape, a long oval shape, cut it in half down the center, fold it over, a little bit of water, put it on the head, make sure the ears bend, because since he's laying on his back, they didn't really want to too much. They wanted to flop forward. However, I persevered, so rest assured he had floppy ears. And there you go. There's your pig, right? Done. I decided to stack up a couple of piggies to make a little piggy pile. So that's what the three balls are there to the left. And the other one on the right is just a pig with another head. He's just going to be laying on his belly doing his little piggy thing. So once again, I had the body. The head is a smaller ball of pink than the body. Um, I'm using the flattened little circles for a couple little hooves. I just did the front because I didn't want it to go crazy with it. And I just tucked him underneath in the corner there between the body and the neck. I use another little ball, smush it on there for the nose. Use my paintbrush to make the holes for the eyes and the little nostrils in the nose. Rolled out a piece of gum paste into a you know, long flat oval. Bend it over after you cut it in half. Attach it for the ears and put it aside. Okay, now we're going to have another pig on top of the mom's head, which was actually pretty cute, i got to say. I was not sure how the ear would support, but with the paper towel in it, and I didn't really put a lot of weight on the ear itself, it worked out pretty good, i got to say. It came out pretty cute. So I just stuck the body on, the head of the mom, I put the pig kind of resting between the ear and the head, and just add the pieces that you needed to. Okay, now our piggy pile. I used pieces of dried spaghetti to attach the heads because as they were in a triangle pile kind of and I had to ship them in the mail, I didn't want them falling apart so I gave them a little extra support with the spaghetti. But otherwise, same exact thing as before. Smaller balls for the heads, flattened on balls for the nose. Use your paintbrush or whatever you got to make the indents for the nose holes and the eyes. Put your little ears on. And then add a couple little hooves, <laughs> okay? I added the hooves to the pig on top of the mom just because it made it a little cuter. And I had the one up under its chin, the other one down by the edge of its body. Just because, like I said, it made it cuter. And so I did it. I added two hooves to this little piggy pile just for the one on top. I didn't add the ones on the bottom because I figured their hooves wouldn't be showing anyway. And already we're almost done. The only thing left to do is add the eyes and the highlights. So to add the eyes, you saw me add water to each of the holes for the eyes. 
put a little black ball of gum paste into each one. I added a little ball for the mouth of the surprised piggy there. And if you add it in and you realize you don't have enough, then you can just add some more on top of it. If your one eye is too big, you got to take it out and start over. But it's not such a big deal. Okay, this is for the mom. We're going to finish her up. She's had a day to sit overnight, I think it was, that I let her sit to kind of harden up. So I took a big piece of pink, made it an oval, flattened it out, put two little nostril holes using my ball tool there that you saw me use, kind of pressing it on with my fondant tool. I made another flat oval, less long though. This one's more round, almost a circle, but not quite. Those are going to be her little hooves that are showing in the front there. So this one, I just cut a little triangle, triangle wedge out of the edge of each little foot in order to make her little hoof and just push it up against your face. Like I didn't even attach it. So when I mailed this thing, I mailed them as separate pieces because there's just really no reason to. Okay, I put an eye on, it was too big, so I had to roll my gum paste out a little thinner, make a smaller circle so that she didn't have crazy eyes. A little black dot, or excuse me, a little white dot on each eye for highlights. These are the highlights I was talking about. Put a little tiny white dot on each little piggy and you will be pretty much good to go. Do it to all the little piggies. Now, I didn't add tails to my pigs. I mean, if you want to, you can. For some reason, I just didn't didn't think of it, I guess. It's kind of silly not to. So go ahead and add tails to your pigs if you want, and you will end up with a very cute little pig family, right? So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because I find that helpful, so we help each other. You see how that works? Check out my many other videos if you don't mind. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.